And, yeah, I mean, you know, it's nothing about sharing tears sometimes. Yeah. Amen. You know, I share, Pastor, amen. Brothers don't like to share tears too much. Yeah. Amen. Make them think they look weak because they share tears. But I come to let you know when you need a breakthrough, yeah. amen. You'll share, you can share tears in the midnight hour and when nobody want to hear you, you can still share your tears. Yeah. Amen. Amen. No matter what the enemy say, no yeah. matter what the enemy do. No matter what the enemy say about you, no matter what how the enemy try to treat you, can't you hear the word of the Lord saying and in, in, in Genesis 50 and 20, what you meant for evil, God meant for good. And how many of you know the enemy will come in and attack you on every hand when you don't even understand what's going on? How many of you know that God will sometimes allow you to go through? I'm, I'm, I'm going to repeat that again. How many of you know sometimes God will allow us to go through in order to make us make us strong? Yeah. Uh, that's why somebody said, if you never had a problem, yeah. you wouldn't know that God can solve it. Yeah. Do it all. Do it all. Yeah. I learned to trust in God. Yeah. I learned to depend upon His word. Yeah. Amen, amen. And I mean, I learned to know that God is always God will turn that, that man, the thing around. You know, when you go through, God will turn it around and make it better in the world before it happens. And my brother and sister, <clears throat> excuse me, my brother and sister, the Bible also let us know in 2 Chronicles 20 and 15 that the battle is not yours. The battle is not yours. Amen, amen, amen. The battle is not yours. Amen. I want to encourage this young man, let you know you're going to have some battle. But they're not yours. They belong to God. Just keep your hand in God's hand. Just keep looking to the hill which comes to hell. Just keep on praying to God that God will make a way for you. Amen. Because in this journey, I've been here long enough to know that there's going to be some battles on your hand. But if God be for you, everything will be all right. You shall know that, amen, that amen, fighting this battle. But it's not yours. It belongs to God. Yeah. We need to come together, amen, with singing and praise. Yeah. And let the enemy know that, amen, that you cannot destroy what God has already built up. Yeah. The Bible, y'all remember the story of Jehoshaphat, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody remember the story? Yeah. In fact, the chronicle that when, when the enemy attacked them, God took up and Jehoshaphat began to worry. He began to put prayer and he talked to God. God said, put the choir together. Yeah. Find your choir. Yeah. And then God will say, choir have power. Yeah. If they get sincere, and then and praise God like the word of God say, get your choir together. Yeah. And he said, when they started invading, yeah. started singing. Yeah. They went this way, they was there. They went that way, they was there. Yeah. And the Bible said, they tripled themselves. Yeah. They didn't even have to fight the battle. Because God fought the battle for them. Yeah. How many of you know God will fight your battle? Yeah. If you just learn to hold your peace, yeah. God will fight your battle. Yeah. I'm going to go wrong as we read this text before us today. Yeah. Amen. And Jesus was passing by. Yeah. He saw a man. He didn't see the man. The man heard he was coming by. Yeah. You know, it's good to hear about Jesus. Yeah. It's good to hear that Jesus is coming by. And I encourage you tonight, don't let it pass you by. And the young man said, when he heard that Jesus was coming, he asked the question, what is all of this noise going on? They said, Jesus is on his way. Anybody know Jesus? Well, he make a way for you. Anybody know Jesus? Well, he picked you up. Breakthrough. No matter what others say about 
said, I be with you. Yeah. Because I'm the first and the last. Yeah. I'm the beginning and the end. Yeah. God will. God will. God will. God will. Yeah. See you through. Yeah. Just hold on. Hold on. To God's unchanging hand. Sometimes you're going to be talked about. Uh -huh. Sometimes you're going to be criticized. Yeah. Sometimes you're going to lie, be lied on. Yeah. But if you know God, then you be God on your side. Yeah. Everything will be all right. Yes, Keep your hand yeah. in his hand. Right. Until you hear him say, seven, 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 seven. Yeah. Well done, yeah. my good and faithful son. Yeah. You've been faithful yeah. over a few things. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. I make you rude of many things. Yeah. God will. Yeah. What's wrong with just supporting your brother? Yes, right. What's wrong with supporting your sister? Yes, right. 
Amen. And I've learned this from Pastor Tate. He is a supporter. And I want him to keep coming to Brown Temple and bless us. Amen? Amen. 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 You know what we mean working with El Penix? The last couple of years of El Penix's life, Pastor Tate was supporting El Penix. Amen. 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 And I was working with El Penix, and El Penix, you know, took me in under his wing and, and always seen Pastor Tate and Pastor Penix together. And it's just good to have that fellowship going. With Brown Temple and Progressive. Amen. So if you don't mind, I'm going to keep this going. And I'm going to keep us inviting Pastor Tate. Amen. Because when the man of God comes to your church, he sanctifies the house. Amen. Amen. So I thank God for all the saints for Progressive. I know how that drive is coming from Elgin. But it's way better than going to Chicago. It's just a straight shot, ain't it? You don't get too much traffic unless it's an accident or something like that. So I want to I continue on with this fellowship. And I, and I told Brown Temple, these folks are going to come here early. They beat us here again. Come on. And I love that about them. Because huh? they don't they play. You know, and I, and I love that. And my sister here, she was singing. I can't wait. What's her, what's her name here? She was singing the second song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw her at uh, me. I was driving Mother Penix to uh, Chicago. We was at Priscilla. Amen. The Lord touched her heart. She said, I'm going to pay for y'all me. And I just think, and I, I know in Mother Penix, she would have loved to hear me sing. But she's out of town. She's at the women's convention. I'm going to let her know if you don't show it out today. <laughs> Amen. To all of the first, to first lady. Take a man. Come on, let's give her a hand. First of all, let's give her a hand. And let's give this anniversary committee a hand. Amen. I want to thank God for Brown's Temple. Amen. I want to thank God. We, 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 we stand on the wall. Amen. And we're about the Father's business. We know it's, I don't know, last time y'all was here, was there a wall here? Did y'all see a wall here? But we built this, what, about six, six months ago? Amen. Maybe a little bit lighter. I don't know. But uh, but we we working on it. We we planning on doing big things for the Lord. You know, we're gonna have a building, we got all that property up there, and we looking to use it, y'all. Amen. Amen. And to carry on Pastor Penny's vision that he had. Right. Amen. Because that's what it's all about. All right. Amen. Pastor Penix, I'm telling you, he was a preacher's preacher. Amen. 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 And he took he took Brown's temple to the next level. Amen. When the baton is passed over to me, my job is to leave this church better than where I found it. Amen. And I put to pass the baton to someone else. Amen. That's how this works. But the church will keep moving on. Amen. Jesus said, upon this rock, I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. We all say, anybody want to be saved, we want to invite Christ. We want to give you Christ, like someone that wants to be saved. I will not leave this service without giving your life to Jesus. Amen. Amen. You don't know what's going to happen. We're living in a crazy world. Yes. We live in the last and evil days, and things are getting worse. They're not getting better. They're getting worse. But the saints, come on, the church is going to always be all right. Amen. So I want to invite you to come. If you're not saved, young, old, man, woman, boy, girl, come to Jesus. Amen. It will be the best decision you have ever made in your life. Amen. Do we have one that's going to be saved? Amen. Amen. If not, we are all saved. Come on, clap your hands. Amen. 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 You may be seated. We're going to get ready to let you go. I, I, I don't want to forget anything. Did you have anything else you wanted to say? Or it, was there any other announcement? Yes. No, no more announcement, but I do want to thank yeah. everybody for Yeah, I want to, we're going to hear from First Lady Williams, and then we're going to hear from Brother Reggie Langford. Right. Now, I know this brother, this brother can barbecue some, some real talk. Yeah, Mr. Thinking? Barbecue himself. I don't know if he's going to get up here and tell y'all about his special sauce or not, but I want him to come up and give remarks. Is that all right? Let's say that for First Lady Williams. Yeah. 